Okay, what's up, beauties? Um, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Okay, so I got a um, Style Factor Edge Boost around the perimeter. I like the way that it's laying. And then I use live like on my root area just because I I did the laziest blowout job in history. And I also did a little shiny gem on some parts. Okay. So this is what I'm about to eat products that I'm going to use. I'm going to be using this and this while braiding. Yeah, I'm pampering my finger because yesterday I ripped the nail completely off. I need a clip. I need this to comb out my hair. I need this. I don't really so much need that anymore. That was just what I used. And then I used Liv. This is like old school. I don't know if y'all know. But it's good for like. It's a good hairdressing and conditioner. For like those of you who. Want to add moisture to your hair. But don't want it to. Um, go back when you after you blow it out yeah and then i've rubber banded it and i've got my hair in all these little ponytails and then i have them in three ponytails i'm gonna take down one so you could just see what i'm working with And I'm tender headed right now. So I got all these little ponytails. And as I get closer to the top area, I will come back and record. But right now, no. But I got my hair in all these little ponytails. Even in the back. Mm, 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 mm. It's hard without a camera person. And I don't have no moisture in my hair. So... <laughs> My hair is like really, um, tangly and dry and even though I put that live on it, I didn't follow it like root to tip. I just put it on the roots area. And my parts aren't the best as you can see look but you know who cares I'm doing this for myself if you like don't like it don't be all up in my head but that edge boost though it got my stuff smelling like strawberries so I'll be back hopefully then I can whip out the big camera turn on some lights show you guys what's really going on it's really good Duh. so stay tuned what's up beauty gang so these are my little braids or whatever 
stringy little braids and I chose to do these braids um, if you notice I did I just had those red and black ones in my hair and those were more of your traditional box braids and I had those in my hair for um, my birthday or whatever and these are more um, I wasn't expecting them to turn out like this they get really really skinny at the end and they're really really bulky at the top just because the hair gets is really really bulky at the top and gets skinny just because it's feathered I've had other feathered hair that doesn't quite do this but whatever but I chose to do this because I want to be wearing my hair up I chose a shorter length just because I want to wear them up and buns and stuff like that and it it'll just be easier all that long hair all the time I'm not just feeling it so basically what I did was these are all little ponytails and excuse the heck out of me if my parts aren't straight because you know whatever I did it myself who cares don't like it don't be chucking all up in my head like that <laughs> but um yes so this is what I'm working with and they have little rubber bands securing around them and yes yesterday I literally ripped my nail off so literally it was bleeding and everything it was like really really bad so yeah I'm not feeling it. it it still hurts it's like throbbing a little bit um after I get done with this I'm gonna clean it up real good and probably come out with a makeup video for y'all I don't really know but I'm gonna dip these in hot water or whatever these braids are probably all different sizes because as you can tell in the back they're a little smaller and I do it like that because of weight the weight um, of the ponytail just because whatever size the ponytail is I kind of just do that like that because I know what can hold it can hold I don't want to do a big old braid on a little small ponytail and then have all that breakage or whatever but yeah this is what I'm working with this is gonna be a style and yes I'm gonna be wearing it up in a bun and all that other crazy stuff but not at first not at first not at first and yes whatever but I'm just loving my braids so that's the thing about braids I feel like you could do them anywhere and that is that style factor look at that it still got my shit laid in the front okay so basically I did a raggedy job with blow drying my hair last night so I got all these raggedy in and my hair is so dry I literally use um, this blowout cream by cream of nature it's supposed to make your hair shiny and all that it didn't do nothing for a tender headed curly girl so what I've been using um cuz I have to use some kind of moisture I've been using this true um, hydrate and hair butter cream and these braids really did not these braids really did not take that long to do I say summing it all up probably two hours I've just been living my best life because they have not been taking it that long I've been on my page um, doing playlists for you guys trying to get some organization because at the end of the day my channel is a beauty channel but I do do fun things with like mukbangs and things like that so I just did and I do vlogs and I do everything like that on my channel so I did created playlists 
so you could easily find them. Only thing is, I wish that I could do category categories like I see on other people's channels, but whatever. I could, girl. I didn't eat, order pizza, watch two seasons of Between. That show crazy. But anyway, I've been using this true, and I really do like this line. But I bought this at Family Dollar. I got it on clearance. It was like $3. And this is really some dope stuff. So what I do is I just stick the tip of my nail in there. Get a little bit on there. Because I want my stuff to be hydrated. And then I rub it in between my nail, my hands. The palm of my hand. And then I rub it down the shaft of my hair. Because I don't really care because I did such a shitty blow dry on my hair. And then I take my little fake dimming brush, which actually I love better than a dimming brush. When I say this gives me better control, it's more sturdier. It's not as flimsy. And this is Donna 734 whatever and i just take it from roots i mean from ends to roots really detangling it and look little curl patterns just like the pop how i would describe my hair is curly <laughs> but spongy you see that her is hydrated Okay, so, babe, I've been taking the hair, and when I prep the hair, I rub that um, True Hydrating Butter on this hair, on this hair, and I, you know, I don't, I don't know why I do it, but I just feel like, I do know why I do it, but I just feel like doing it rubbing it on the hair it just keeps the moisture locked in there you know what i'm saying i don't know i don't pay me no attention and i get about this much now i do a little tug but what I've been noticing on these top choppers right here, I might have to do a little feed-in style just because um, the thickness, um, the, they thin. So I, I have to do a little feed-in sometime on them just to keep them going all the way down. But So then what I do, boo, What I do, boo, is I take my little latch hook through the top. You see that? You see that? And you see how her open like that? And then I just take my hair. I take my hair and I take the end where it's feathered and I wrap it around like this. I wrap it around like this and I kind of like put it the hook. Make sure it's all on the hook. Okay. I close that hook. You know what I'm saying? I close that hook. And I don't even know if I lost y'all. Because I can't even see what I'm doing. And then I just pull it through. Okay? 
and then that's what I'm working with it looks like it's coming through and this is cool for beginners too like if you don't really know how to do the hair like you supposed to the other way that's why my it's so thick up here okay so then I take my shiny gem do you know I seen one um at the hair store for braiders and it was eleven dollars no no ma'am I like the regular and I take about that much and I rub it put it on my hands or I rub it through and I take it during the top part of it and then I just take it and I have my hair in between those two spaces you know what I'm saying where I pulled the hair through and I just evenly distribute three pieces I don't even know if I'm explaining this right And it's already tight, like. So then I just start braiding. And then that's, that shiny gem, putting it at the top like that, that ensures it be smooth and everything is in its place. And, it's just shiny and stuff like that and you know what I'm saying but I could have did these braids a whole lot better but I think I'm still learning when it comes to the braids like I'm not a professional professional like I've been braiding for a while but I still like to experiment and I find that Sometimes that's where you get some of your best hairstyle through experimentation. And I think I may have stretched this one enough to where I don't have to feed it in. I think what I am going to have to do is I think I'm going to have to feed this one in with hair. And it's cool. And another reason why I use pre-feathered hair and not the regular hair anymore is just because it's so much lighter. And as somebody who suffers from migraines and neck issues, neck pain and stuff like that. It's just so much better. That's why. I am just learning. Learning, 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 learning. And then I promise you, like, I am not even no professional at all. So what I do is, when I'm creating the little slip knot, I take the longest piece. The longest piece. I separate it. Okay, I take the longest piece around the end. And I just create a little loop, put my fingers, and then bring the hair through that. I don't know, like a little bunny hoop. I don't know. I don't even know how you explain what explain that. All right, so I'm going in for the second one.
And then I'm starting with my little hydrating butter. I just be wanting my hair to be moisturized. And you know what? I can say my hair do be moisturized all throughout these little protective styles I be doing. I'm just straightening out the hair. And I waste a lot of hair too. You can tell I'm not a professional braider. <laughs> I don't care, but at least I know how to braid myself. I ain't paying. I mean, now, if I wanted to have some good, good box braid, I could. And I'm just stretching the hair down, you know, like I did last time. Now, this is... Oh, fuck. Straighten out the hair because I just fucked it up. Alright. That's close enough. It's this, fing it's this finger. It gets tacky. Okay. So, I'm just taking my finger. You see my gray hair? <laughs> A girl be stressed. Okay. Okay. Now, you see how it's open right there? What I do is, let me um take this hair, I'm going to clip this up just so you, for video purposes, and I take this, the end of the feathered hair, and I like wound it around. And I put it in the hook part. I make sure it all can go. But see, what happened is my little thumb cast that messed up the hair. So, it's little fine bits ain't catching the way it's, it needs to. Let me straighten this out. I just ain't used to having to show people. I'm used to just doing it. And then, okay, you see how that hook? And then you close it and you pull it through. That was perfect. And you pull it through, and you pull it through, and you pull it through, and you pull it through. And you pull it through until the hair is even, and your hair is in the middle. So your hair is like protected. Okay? Okay? So then I take that shiny gem because since my hair don't match, I just take power much, rub it in the palm of my hands. I don't even care how much. It could be a little, it could be a lot. My goal is to make sure my hair is securely in the middle of both pieces of hair see that it's in the middle right 
and then I just break it off into three pieces. See, and that's how I do it because and the only reason why I'm doing it with the rubber bands is because I had my hair in braids and I did them for my birthday and they should have lasted a lot longer but they slid so much because of the texture of my hair and the sweat and plus Bobby Boss they put a lot of dye in their pre-feathered hair like I don't know if you look at my last vlog but my hands were dirt like pitch black I've been braiding I don't know this ain't been weathered the storm I don't even care if a little curl pop out here and there. Because I don't have bone straight hair, you know? But I did want to try black. And you see how big I did these parts? Like, girl. A girl was doing some real deal... Holyfield uh, box braid slash protective styling slash I don't even know but now I don't even know when I since I broke my nail like that I don't even know when I can get my nails done because my thumb is pretty jacked up guys and I'm definitely getting them cut down. Hot girl summer. All June. July is over. And I actually don't mind that some mo majority of these braids are stringy at the ends because like I said I plan on wearing a lot of buns with these braids I don't plan on um, doing all of that like wearing them all down and stuff that was the whole purpose of these braids i wanted something light something fast and i'm literally i say these braids the hardest part of these braids were the little ponytails honestly the the hardest part I just could not I just don't like uh, parting my hair it's because I have all that pain in my upper arm I could pack part other people here and as y'all know, I use that true uh, butter, hydrating butter, and then I'm just brushing it out from um, tip to root.
And um, so far here, I use this hair. And they had like four of these bundles in them. And right now, I say that I used um, I used about seven. Yeah, I used about seven and I don't have enough. So I'm going to have to open, open up another pack and I won't be using that whole pack, but I like to you leave like, I'm not going to throw that hair around way because sometimes when I be doing hair, I be running out of hair and whatever the case may be. And this is just the latch hook method. I swear it's just going slower because I'm showing folks it literally don't go this slow. It really does it. Mm -hmm. It really doesn't go this slow. And for the most part, I think these braids are uneven. But I tried to keep them a lot even, but whatever. I mean, so guys, do y'all ever do like jumbo braids in y'all hair and rock them? I do them because my hair is not all that great to manage. I think I'm about to, with these braids, um, my last braids, I mainly did main choice oils, but with these braids right here, I'm going to go back to my henna products, my Ayurvedic oils that I make. Like, I'm going to grease my scalp real good with it tonight. It just stopped recording. I'm just about to, uh,
but do any of y'all out there just do jumbo braids so y'all can create like styles even though I ain't feeling the hair too much that I did it with but I will buy some hair and I know you can't really see the full frontal of my face this is what happens when you're your own camera person. That is the whole scope of my braids, guys. I mean, they don't look bad. I'm about to... Go dip them. I mean, this one right here... If had I not been lazy, I really should have, um, and I think I am going to go back and do it because <clears throat> it's short, it's short, short, but basically I just do like a feed in. Like how you do like feed ins with and it's crazy that I know how to do this with with uh individual braids, but I don't know how to do it with French braid. I can feed in the braid. So I'm gonna go back up this for I'm gonna be up here and these pieces are really too long but whatever and I'm gonna just take this piece and somehow I'm gonna just There we go. And that's how I do it. My little feeling. I don't know how I do that. I just do it. It's like. The only thing is, it makes the ends really thick. And I be trying to thin them out. And that's why, that's why when I, um, that's why when I be doing it, I try to take the scissors and thin them out but yeah but guys I really want to go to Sephora in California 
September 7th through 8th and 9th and stuff. Or is it 7th and 8th? and yeah but for some reason like even though like I try like I'm not a good like I don't consider myself like the best brighter I still get like tons of compliments so thanks to people I guess I don't know shout out to my cousin Keish Coop she's a dating brighter and she's been braiding my hair since like I she's like you know one of the only other people that's like really ever braided my hair but um shout out to her for you know teaching the girl braid braid consistency I guess okay Okay, so this last one, last, last, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, ring that bell, hey, ring it, ring it. Ring it, ring it, ring it, ring it, ring it, ring that bell. Ring that bell, ring that bell, ring that bell. Okay, I'm going to try to do this one last time. The latch hook. It just, it's hard like when you, it's hard when you ain't. When you trying to show somebody how to do it, like. And yes, I like chunky braids. I'm all about chunky braids this year. When I was younger, I used to like small ones. But now, I like chunky braids. Guys, I just got lost all in the sauce. <laughs> I don't 
don't know why I just made that so I kind of like forgot what I was doing there we gonna blame that on the stroke that I had two months ago because I get kind of loopy okay and you know like like I said in between that bottom and that top piece hide your hair hide your hair This is perfect for uh, beginners. I actually recommend this if you can't do your hair or can't think you can't do your own box braids yes you can rubber band and latch hooks And as y'all can see, like y'all can't see my rubber bands or nothing. It's just a little quick way. You could do it big, small, medium, medium, whatever. This is just how I choose to do it. And that's it. All I gotta do is really dip my hair. And that's it. you know use my edge boost for them edges and this style like took like three hours but that is because I do know how to do my own box braids but if this is like if you don't know how to do this don't expect this to uh, take three hours especially with you see how I was getting jammed up because I was trying to show y'all how to do it and it was like I forgot <laughs> I was getting lost in trying to talk talking like and all type of stuff Well, that's it guys I'm about to go dip these and all that I hope you enjoyed the video please leave your comments if you know a easier way a easier method or if you got a style that you you do you do to beat the heat let me just zoom out so you can see these so I mean they decent they decent for what I'm gonna be doing I'm about to be wearing big thick old buns up those and all that you know what I'm saying until next time love you I pray, I pray that it's hope for the ladies. I've been looking at the natural soap for ladies.